The Trail Smelter in British Columbia, Canada, has been operating since the very late 19th century. A smelter takes the ores extracted during mining and separates out the precious minerals from the rock they are contained in. This process creates large quantities of sulphur dioxide gas. Initially, the smelter had 150 foot high smokestacks to disperse the sulphur dioxide into the atmosphere. But nearby farms were still being badly affected, so the smelter increased the height of the smokestacks to 400 feet. Unfortunately, this created a new problem. Trail is just a few kilometres north of the border with the United States. The higher smokestacks merely meant that the clouds of sulphur dioxide were carried down into Washington State on the US side of the border. Needless to say, the farmers in Washington were unamused. The problem was that the laws of neither country seemed to fully apply. The damage was being caused in the USA, but the conduct causing that damage was occurring in Canada. The two countries made some initial attempts to negotiate a solution, but they eventually appointed an arbitrator to act like a court and work out whether compensation should be paid and how much. As a matter of common sense, it seems sensible to have a rule that countries can't generate pollution and then just send it over the border to create problems in other countries. If an individual causes, say, smoke that affects their neighbour, they'll be liable for the damage. There's no logical reason why that shouldn't apply to countries. The arbitrators found, however, that there were really no precedents in international law which could assist them. They turned instead to American domestic law, and in particular to decisions where the US Supreme Court had to decide disputes between states, where one state was polluting a water resource shared with another state. The arbitrators said, under the principles of international law, as well as the law of the United States, no state has the right to use or permit the use of its territory in such a manner as to cause injury by fumes in or to the territory of another, or the properties or persons therein, when the case is of serious consequence and the injury is established by clear and convincing evidence. This principle, the trail smelter principle, is sometimes challenged, but it remains a key principle of international law today. Mm -hmm.